hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will add the auto jumping parkour system to our player so for example if the height of the obstacle is this big then we will not allow the player to jump the player will only jump if the space button is pressed but for example if the height is similar to this table then we will auto jump from here okay so let's go ahead and do this on the parkour controller script right here at the top create a float by the name of auto jump height limit and let's set this to for example 2 then right here let me cut this and then inside this if condition we will create a bool by the name of can jump and this will be equals to true by default and then we will say that if the player script dot ledge info dot height is greater than the auto jump height limit and the jump button is not pressed then we will make the can jump to false and in here we will say that if the can jump is true and also that okay then we will perform this so what this means now this means that if the height is greater than the limit okay and the jump button is not pressed then we will set this to false okay then we will be needing to press the jump button in order to jump but if the can jump is true then we will automatically jump that is it now if we just simply save this and let's go ahead and test this out so right here on this table as you know that the auto jump will be greater than the height okay so if we try to move as you can see the player auto jumps but now if we check it right here okay if we move towards the ledge as you can see the player is unable to jump unless we press the button okay so now this means that yes the auto jumping is working perfectly fine and guys you can notice this issue okay if we jump on this table okay and try to jump over it as you can see the player plays the animation twice okay if we jump for now it plays it single but sometime it plays the animation twice as you can see and it only plays this twice when we try to rotate while playing the animation okay it plays it twice but if we are not rotating okay it plays it once sometime so in order to fix this if you click on animator right here when we are playing the jump down animation what we will do will open up the seconds and right here we want to move this from this 0 0.6 okay you can see the exact time okay 0 0.6 so this is 0 0.6 right here we want to move this to for example 0 0.9 so if we change this to 0 0.9 okay now as you can see the exact time is reduced and also we want to make the transition duration a little bit less for example 14 okay so make sure that you do this as well and then save it then if we play the game again now let's try to jump as you can see now it plays the animation twice okay you can notice it if now we try to rotate or do anything the animation plays twice I mean single time not twice it is now not playing twice okay so it means that it is now working perfectly fine as you can see okay so with this done let's end this video right here 